In this video, I'm going to introduce the SharePoint Publishing Site Template. Um, the SharePoint Publishing Site Template is really uh, meant to provide a, a more structured setup and give you a set of tools to allow you to, to give yourself a more structured setup for your site collection. So, you know, if you had a, a you know a bunch of team sites that were created by different people, they would all have a totally different look and feel. Uh, con different types of content all over the place potentially. So a publishing site is really meant more for displaying information, you know, for an intranet, for example, or, or an external website and displaying it in a consistent way. Uh, and, and, you know, so the administrators can set that up and you can have a different set of people, your publishers creating content and they don't have to worry about all this other configuration. So I've created a, a publishing site here and I'm given this homepage. You know, and gives me some quick links about what, what I can do. But what I'll do first is I'll go into the site settings here. And I'll just show you under the look and feel some of the kind of features that you have available to you. So you can get a, a quick kind of feel for how, how different this is. So first of all, uh, the publishing site, uh, there's a lot more um, things around inheritance in, in the publishing site. So you can set a lot of things at the root that will be inherited by all your subsites. So for example, uh, the page layout and site template um, setting here. I'll click on that. And what you'll see here is you can now set here, the administrator can set here which uh, site templates can be used for subsites. So I may decide that I only want um, publishing sites to be created, uh, and I can also ensure that that uh, is inherited by all subsites. Um, so it gives me a bit warning there, saying, you know, am I sure I want to do that? So now every single site in my site collection, if anybody wants to create a subsite, they only have a publishing site available to them. So that's quite powerful. Similarly, with page layouts, um, you know, I can choose whether the site is able to use any layout, uh, whether it inherits from its parent or uh, whether you know, I can select, I can pick and choose exactly which page layouts my site is using. Um, so that's quite useful as well. So the publishers, you know, don't have the ability to design the page however they want. You know, they have they select from just a few different page layouts. Uh, similarly, as well, uh, I can also choose, you know, when creating a page, which you know, which content type uh, I want to be the default for all new pages that are created. And again, I can set that um, to be inherited by all my subsites. So that's quite powerful there in terms of ensuring consistency across my site collection. The master page setting for the look and feel. So under here, I can set what I want my master page to be. And again, um, for if this was a subsite, for example, uh, all the subsites would be set to automatically inherit their master page from the parent. Um, and if you're an administrator, you know you make sure that the publishers can't change that. So all pages. Uh, across all your uh, your site collection will all be using the same master page as opposed to team sites if somebody opens SharePoint designer they can change their master page very easily uh, device channels is a, is a very interesting feature so this allows you to to kind of set uh, different views depending on the device that is being that the, the page is being accessed through so for mobile devices it's very useful and the navigation one, uh, is talking about you know inheritance and consi um, setting consistency across your other sites, the navigation uh, setting is very powerful for that as well. So basically, uh, I can set the navigation. the The global navigation is my is similar to my top links bar, and my current navigation is similar to my left hand navigation that we had in team sites, but they work a little bit differently. And I'll go into that in another video. But basically, what you'll see here. Um, if this was a subsite, see, I can't choose this option. But if this was a subsite, I can be, I can inherit the navigation from this, from the root site. So again, in, ensuring consistent navigation across all my sites. So you know, you don't have a piecemeal navigation. Users can can navigate through this site collection very easily. So, as I said, the the publishing site template is set up to allow consistency, enforce, and allow you to enforce consistency across your site collection. And those are just a few features uh, that allow you to do that. 